folks. I am so excited because I got to go to New Zealand a few weeks ago, and starting tonight, I get to share that trip with you in our special week-long series. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert presents The Newest Zealander. All I could think of. All I could think of the entire time I was down there, I was, I wish everybody could come with us. Mm. And so we decided to film it. New Zealand is one of the greatest places on Earth. The people are incredible. The landscapes are absolutely breathtaking. It's home to both Lord and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and fun fact, there are no predators in the whole country, including no snakes. Which means down there, Adam and Eve were tempted by a Smeagol. <laughs> I'm also a huge admirer of New Zealand Prime Minister, and I'm gonna say, personal friend, Jacinda Ardern. In 2017... <laughs> There you go. There you go. That's right, that's right. In 2017, she took office as one of the world's youngest leaders at the age of 37. And since then, she's enacted a groundbreaking family leave policy, uh, become the first head of state to bring their baby to the floor of the UN. And after, after the tragic shooting at a mosque in Christchurch, she called for legislation to ban semi-automatic weapons and got it passed within one month. Now, <laughs> Prime Minister Ardern, I'm happy to say, she's come on the show a couple of times already now, and she invited me to visit New Zealand both times, and the second time she said she'd pick me up at the airport. <laughs> so recently, I got on a plane to see if she meant it. After 16 and a half hours, I arrived at New Zealand's Auckland Airport, where I waited for Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to fulfill her part of the bargain. Hi. Is that okay? <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Take care of this. Welcome. Uh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, we're very pleased to have you. I just, I'm so amazed, you know, that you came to pick me up. Thank you so much. Well, no, I mean, that's not particularly extraordinary at all. I, I still do the odd airport run. I just hope I'm not cutting into executive time. I'm a woman, I multitask, so do not worry. That is exciting. We'll keep picking up. If you need to tweet at any moment, I'm happy to hold the wheel. While I... Or, or I could tweet, tweet for you. Thank you. Do you have your phone? Do you have your phone with you? I do, I do. Could not, you look? I'm... <laughs> could I just... Is this it? <laughs> Is this you? Yeah, that's my phone. All right. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Look at the baby. <laughs> Look at the baby. <laughs> could I just? I, 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything. I just promised you. Yeah. Could, we, could you unlock that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think is I believe you. Is it facial recognition? Is it facial it is recognition? Not. <laughs> it's not facial recognition. It's not. No. One quick rule: Do not even think about singing along with the radio uh, if a song comes on that you like, okay. because that is James Corden's thing. And that guy is mobbed up with lawyers, and he will come after us, so like with a sharp stick. You, no sing-alongs. No sing-alongs. Galileo! 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 Figo! Magnifico! Oh, 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 I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him his life from this monstrosity. <laughs> What's your dad's birthday? 21st of June. Oh, that's interesting. She's, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that. No, no. <laughs> okay, so seriously, just while we're sitting here, just don't, don't tell me, just unlock it. I'm not I just, unlocking it. I just want to see no. who, I'm not going to call anybody. Come mm -mm. on. No, definitely not. You're no, <laughs> you're no fun. It's do you know them? No, no, I do not. Those are just, those are. <laughs> They're just. That's Hello. right. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. How are you guys? I recognize you. You recognize her or me? Yeah, no, Jacinda. Oh, okay. <laughs> See ya. I'll just use my, but it's not my code. I used my code. That didn't work. <laughs> How many more no. tries have you got left there? <gasps> what is this? My phone is disabled. <laughs> <laughs> We pulled up to her suburban Auckland home, and as soon as we sat down, I got straight to my agenda. My first question is, and this might seem sudden, can I be a citizen? 
<laughs> Straight off the bat. I've only been here for about four hours and I'm already having separation anxiety, <laughs> knowing that I have to leave here in a week. That's exactly how we like to make people feel. What's the population of New Zealand? We're getting close to five million now. Mm -hmm. And 4.6 million of them were extras in The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Approximately. I understand. Is it true that you uh, auditioned to be in Lord of the Rings? Yes, yeah. And you didn't get cast? I did not get cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does Peter Jackson know that he didn't cast the Prime I Minister know, of New actually. Zealand? I don't know if I've ever had that conversation with mm -hmm. him. Do you guys have audits here? Tax I audits? I do, yeah, of course. Could you, could you sick the tax auditors on him? Uh, th that is independent. Yeah. That's independent. Yeah, it is in the United States too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's totally independent. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Like actually. Actually. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> totally get it. You're yeah. very polite. Yes. Very Who's polite. more polite? You or the Canadians? I think we'd probably see some similarities between us. It's a very polite thing for you to it say. Was very, <laughs> very polite thing to say. Whereas a Canadian would go, "We're more polite," which means you are more polite. You can say that. Thank you. I can say that because I'm yeah. American. We can say anything we want. <laughs> <laughs> what are you more proud of, the fact that New Zealand was the first country to give all women the vote or the fact that there are no snakes here? Uh, women the vote, but we do, we do really underplay the snakes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just want to get a little, little snack here. Mm -hmm. So there we are really have, no snakes. We have food here as no, well. There are really no snakes in New Zealand. No, no snakes. No. No snakes. I'm sorry, did you want some peanut brittle? You know, I'm, I'm fine. But no? No. Okay. Thank you. Right. Let me know if you change your mind. Thank you. You recently got engaged to your partner, Clark. <laughs> Mazel tov. Thank you. Um, when is the wedding? We don't know. You don't know? <laughs> no. <laughs> we haven't planned anything yet. Yeah. Do you need an officiant? Because I, I can legally marry people. I've married people before. Can you? In the United States, yes. That would be really something if you came back. And... It would, I would be thrilled to. Yeah. Clark. And, the, and that... What do you think of that? Let's talk. Let's talk. He hates the idea. That's a bit awkward. Let's talk. Let's talk. Just that's us, honest to a fault. You're running for re-election in 2020. I am, yeah. Do you guys have an electoral college? No. Would you like ours? I think we're good with our mixed member proportional system. Okay. Yeah. When is the next election? Uh, I haven't said it yet. You get to set the election? Yeah. How is that I know, right? it sounds that a little unfair. No, it call it now. Unfair. How cool would it be if you call the election right now on TV? It's, are you doing like a truth or dare style? Do it. Sit in. You're just daring me I to dare call an you. election. Do it. No. Come on. No. Bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm young, but I'm not 12. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have some campaign slogan ideas for you. Okay. This is my favorite. Yeah. Ardern 2020, New Zealand, same prime minister. <laughs> this is a winner, right? Uh, Come on. Yeah. If you're prime minister, does that mean you're also president? Is that just bundled in there? Like No, no. Is there a president in New no, Zealand? No, there isn't. No. So you could float, my name. <laughs> Technically, um, just, I think probably citizenship would be. And that's why I asked about and that's that why first. You've is that a, because you've got a whole career path? In yeah. Life well, here. I'd like to be a citizen, but I don't know what I'm going to do for a living yeah. down here. Is that Once the I become pathway? A citizen, is television. And to president? Yeah. It's recently in the United States, mm. it is the pathway to high office. First, uh, have a television it's show, show and then straight to president. Okay. I want to talk to you about the aftermath of the Christchurch shootings. Mm. You immediately passed gun reform, yeah. banning all military style assault rifles. That was inspiring to those of us who live in the United States who deal with gun violence. Mm. How did you do it? And I'm, I'm asking, you know, for 350 million friends of mine. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're pragmatists in New Zealand. And so when it was described to me, the weapons that were used and how easily they were obtained, my immediate reaction was, you know, that, that just, that can't stand, you know, that has to change. And so, you know, I needed the votes of three political parties to be able to do it, but I, I didn't think I would even need to ask them if they thought the same thing. So I just went out there and said, our laws will change. And in the end, uh, every single member of parliament except for one voted for that change. We've gotten to the point where in America, we basically 
we have a feeling that the gun laws can't yeah. be changed. Was there no resistance oh, to yeah, it? There were some people who um, who weren't happy about the change. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, we turned something that they had legally purchased into something illegal. So mm-hmm. we gave them the ability to to bring them in and we paid for them. We have legitimate need in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. We may not have snakes, but we have a, a lot of things that, you know, that kill our wildlife. Mm-hmm. But we identified what guns were legitimately needed for those things. Mm-hmm. And those were kept out and they still remain. And we've removed the ones that are designed to take people's lives en masse. Well, it's another reason to love New Zealand. Mm. Prime Minister Jacinda, thank you so much you for, for inviting me to your beautiful country. Thank you. And uh, good luck getting rid of me. Yeah. Please stay safe with some food. We'll have a barbecue or something. You're most welcome. Oh, that'll be fantastic. Last chance for Prince Pearl. I think I'm good. Yeah, thank you. I accepted her invitation and joined the Prime Minister and her partner Clark for a New Zealand state dinner of sausages and white bread. So we got the the Prime Minister. We have the the first uh, grill master. Uh, we have the future possible president of New Zealand and and Lord. Lord. Yeah. So nice to meet you. Hello. You too. How are you? Good to <laughs> now, despite I've never met you before, mm. you're famous and I'm famous, and that's generally how people meet. There's something I've always wanted to ask you, okay. and is that um, would you, would you care for some uh, peanut brittle? <laughs> would you like some peanut brittle? Um, sure. It, Thank you. It's okay. something I, I think must be a tradition. Yeah, he it is, offers yeah. it quite often. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. With- You don't have snakes! <laughs> the trip was worth it! <laughs> thank you, Prime Minister Ardern, and thank you, Lord. We'll be right back with Adam Driver.